YouTube and welcome to your 30th JavaScript tutorial and in this tutorial we'll not be discussing anything about JavaScript or any of its stuff or operators or functions and any of its concepts but I found this awesome very awesome and very advanced JavaScript web quiz online on this URL right here so this quiz is basically a very high level and advanced quiz in JavaScript which helps you to understand the basic concepts of JavaScript and if you get the answers wrong in the first time then don't worry because this quiz is meant for like people appearing for competitive exams or entrance exams in JavaScript so basically I will help you to solve these questions with a proper explanation that why was the answer so tricky and as this guy David Sheriff says here warning might hurt your feelings okay so let's start the quiz and in this tutorial I guess I'll be covering around four to five questions per tutorial because of time so it doesn't make the quiz boring actually so let's start the quiz quiz and we have the question one here and we have 20 questions in all okay so right here we have a function inside a variable and variable variable name and function name are same and we have console log this pretty tricky so what's happening here is first of all we are creating a function inside a variable and we are just comparing the function with itself so basically this function is similar to this we don't need the function name inside a variable because we can actually call this function with the help of variable itself so what we are doing here is we are just calling this function itself in this function so this calls itself because foo is the function name and inside the function we are calling the function itself so if I call this function down here then as you can see this function console logs itself so basically if we write this type of foo then when you call this function we get the function because in the console log we are just calling the type of this function which is itself a function and obviously this function equals to itself so what should be the answer yes you guessed it right it should be true okay coming to the next question let's clear the console and let's see what we have got here so we have this function right here with function name aaa and a return statement and an object as a return looks very innocent but actually what's happening here is the JavaScript engine converts the new line after the return statement into a semicolon so this function is basically treated like this and every other code here and if you look back into my playlist in some tutorial I guess a couple of tutorials back then you'll hear me saying that I told you that after a return statement in a function nothing gets executed below it this is an exception with hoisting but after a return statement for example if you write alert down here then this function would not be executed so basically what's happening here is we are this function is similar to this thing right here so what's happening here is we are just alerting type of AA and look carefully how we are alerting this so if we remove the parenthesis from AAA let me rename this AAA now this would alert this thing would alert function because AAA right here is a function but what we are doing is we are calling this function by using the parenthesis so basically what we are doing is we are alerting the type of which is returned by this function and what this function is returning it's returning undefined okay one thing I want to tell you is that return false 
is not equal to return and what is the difference between two when we use simply return false then it returns us the boolean value or return true or anything return xyz then it returns us that particular value but by default if we use just the simple statement return instead of returning us false this statement returns us undefined so basically return undefined is equal to return okay so this statement would actually return us undefined and obviously now we are calling this function and alerting the type of the value returned by this function and this function is returning us undefined so here we have the undefined uh, we got it right okay we have this next thing so if you go to my prototype section you will understand what this is and we have got a number object down here and as I told you new the keyword new is used to call the constructor function and since here we are not using the keyword new here so this basically creates a primitive value so basically var a is 1 and var b is number 1 and a is equal to b and it would return us true as you can see but if we have done b with a new keyword then it would have called a constructor function and this would be an object instead of simply a primitive value so now so now b is not equal to a this would return us false as you can see so obviously this converts it into a primitive value and 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 and this would return us true we can verify here in the console and yeah okay now we have this question right here now in JavaScript true is considered as 1 false as 0 and basically if we do integer conversion of booleans then I don't think in any other language we have basically uh, we basically get any error in the integer conversion of booleans and in every other language we have false equal to 0 by default and true anything except 0 but basically if we do the integer conversion then by default true is equal to 1 so basically what happening here is we are just doing 1 plus 0 is greater than 2 plus 1 and if you do simple math we get 1 is greater than 3 which is false so the answer should be false we got it correct congratulations and we have this fifth question down here and I guess I have took 8 minutes so we'll be doing this one as the last question for this tutorial and I'll be covering the next five in the next tutorial okay never mind coming back to fifth question we have this function down here function bar and we have this whole lot of function and alerting type of bar now this looks like that we are just doing return foo and foo is down here undefined and type of bar should be undefined but if you go back to my previous tutorials a couple of tutorials back you'll see me teaching a concept in JavaScript called hoisting now here's where the hoisting is coming into play now what's happening here down here is this code this function down here is similar to this thing or basically to be very precise this thing so why is this like this thing so basically this concept is known as hoisting in JavaScript and these two functions right here are exactly similar to the interpreter of the JavaScript so the interpreter of the JavaScript consider this function written as this function and this is because of hoisting if you want to know more about this hoisting concept then go back into my playlist and you'll see me teaching you this 
and now what's happening here is we are creating a variable foo and assigning it a function and down here we are calling type of type of bar and obviously we are calling the bar itself so it returns the value returned by this function and we are actually alerting the type of value returned by this function and what is returned by this function is a function itself which is foo so this would log or basically this would alert the type of as a function so I have done five questions of David Sheriff's quiz with explanation the complete explanation and if you find any difficulty in any of the concepts of these five questions please feel free to leave a comment down and ask me or ask uh, in the comment section that what was the confusion and why was the answer your answer different from mine so this is a very interesting kind of quiz and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and the next tutorial I'll be covering question number 6 to 10 so keep watching my tutorials and don't forget to subscribe